It has been a violent 12 hours here in Columbus. First, on Wednesday, a 19-year-old was shot dead, while another was sent to the hospital after a fight at Westgate Park. Then, less than four hours later, another man was gunned down in an East Columbus parking lot as another person was hurt. We thank you so much for joining us today at noon for 10 TV News. I'm Tracy Townsend. We want to start with that latest shooting. It happened this morning. 10 TV's Christopher Frost has a look now at the violence, how it happened, and what police say they need you to do to help with the investigation. In the latest in the series of deadly shootings, we do know that one man is dead here at Oakland Village townhomes. Now, officers on scene tell us that they got the call about some activity happening around 6 o'clock this morning. That's when they found a man dead inside a vehicle from a shooting. Now, this isn't the only shooting that Columbus police are looking into, though. Just before 10 o'clock Wednesday night, police say a man was shot and killed in a parking lot that's in East Columbus. They identified him as 21-year-old Raquan Thomas. And when officers arrived on scene, they worked to save Thomas before taking him to Mount Carmel East Hospital where he died. A 20 year old was also hurt in this shooting. Officers are also calling that person a victim but haven't released other details about their involvement or any suspect information there. Now a third shooting around 630 Wednesday night left a 19 year old man dead. A 17 year old was also taken to Doctors West Hospital with gunshot wounds and is now stable. Officers say a group of people gathered to watch two men fight at Westgate Park. That's when guns were drawn. So three deadly shootings within a span of 12 hours and officers are asking that if you know anything about any of these shootings to give them a call if you can identify any witnesses or any suspects that can help them out. But for now reporting in Northeast Columbus, Krista Frost, 10 TV News. And to track crime that's happening near you right down to the street level, it's a simple step-by-step -step process that you can find at 10tv.com slash crime tracker 10.